last man or something fishy. That is literally the worst joke. <laughs> it's not even a joke. Hello YouTube and welcome to my video where I review the regions of SimCity and tell you which one is the best for what and what and which one you should create your stuff in because obviously you know what you like and what you don't like. Okay, so this we're going to start off with Cape Trinity, which is the first region if you go along when you're looking to create a brand new region. So Cape Trinity has three cities, of which two out of three of them are linked by boats, and all of them have train links, and obviously all of them have the highway linking them as well. So it's quite a nice little area, but it is very small. If you're planning to make a big server, then it's probably not a great idea. Norwich Hills is probably best for like the mining kind of city because it has the most ore, um, coal or oil on the whole map and it has reasonably good exports. It doesn't have boat however you won't need boat because all the towns have trains. So you have out of it 60, well two out of three coal, ore and oil. However none of the other cities contain any of those minerals, so clear water contains none, and neither does um, Trinity Point. So, if you want to create a mining town with city specialization in kind of mining and drilling, this is probably your best bet. However, the land is awkward, more awkward than these two to build on because these two are just completely flat, whereas this one, you have the hills here that you can see. Also, it doesn't have much wind, so creating a basic wind turbine plant would not be probably the best power option. You might want to buy that from one of the other cities. So next we move on to Clearwater, which is kind of, I'd say, the worst city out of the bunch, because yes, it is flat, however, it has no minerals and it, has, it doesn't have the most water or wind. However, the one thing it does have that Norwich Shields doesn't have is boat connections, so if that's what you're interested in, then sure, go for that. <laughs> So, as you can see, it has no ore, coal, or oil, so there's no kind of hope of specialising in anything and making big bucks through that. You might have to make it into a tourism city, or so, because it's probably not either the best facility city, or um, whatever you want to call it, service city, because it's not got as much water or wind. So the power plant, if you choose a wind power plant, that won't be the best. And nor will water towers. You don't have the most water you can get. So, clear water is probably a bit of a bum deal. However, it is pretty much all flat, which is good, and so it's a nice area to build on. However, if you are looking to make kind of mining and water or whatever you want to do, then this is probably not the best bet. And for our final review, we're going to go on to Trinity Point, which is probably going to be the best um, tourist city because it has sufficient wind and water to provide all its own energy, water, and you can dump stuff in the corner um but it has also great transport connections with a boat and a train so this is probably the best bet as it has the most water or wind on the map so thank you very much for watching my review of the SimCity map cape trinity i hope you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for the next videos on this series and i hope you enjoyed it thank you very much goodbye <laughs>